So tonsil stones are basically food particles that got caught up in the tonsils. So patients with large tonsils usually have holes on the tonsils. We call them cribs. And when you chew food and you swallow, some of that food gets caught up in those holes and the bacteria turns it rock hard. And those are what we generally call layman's term tonsil stones. Oh, you know you have tonsil stones because you can see it. They're little white pebbles at, on the surface of the tonsils. They may look white or they may look yellow. And that's how you know that you have tonsil stones. The people who tend to have a lot of tonsil stones tend to have, be the one who have recurrent tonsillitis because every time you have tonsillitis, you get, the tonsil swells up. And when they go down, you tend to have little holes that develop from it. And also patients with very big tonsils. Very big tonsils have big surface areas and you tend to have developed holes on the surface of the tonsils and they tend to collect food and be, those become tonsil stones. You actually cannot because you have to eat and basically tonsil stones are food particles that got caught up in the crypts, in the holes on the tonsils. So you're always gonna, if you have holes in your tonsils, you're always gonna have tonsil stones. You can minimize it by, by using a water pick or gargling with, with salt water after eating and that will usually minimize the development of these tonsil stones, but you really can't prevent it completely. They are not harmful. Tonsil stones are not harmful to your health at all. Um, they are, the only thing that they do is they tend to give you bad breath and people associate bad breath as in like they didn't, like a person may not be brushing their teeth and that's not the case. The most common complaint of tonsil stones that gives patients bad breath and the patients who generally come to our clinic complain of tonsil stones are usually in their late teens or 20s because, and the reason they come in is because they're dating and they don't want to deal with bad breath and they'll come in and they'll say, I don't care what they say, I want my tonsil to be removed. And that's when they come in for it, but they're not harmful to your health. You should see a physician about tonsil stones if it's giving you sore throat. Oftentimes, patients will have tonsil stones and they'll try to manipulate it and that results into a sore throat and they'll have ear pain, sore throat from it. And if that's the case, then I generally recommend follow up with your, see the ENT doctor and you can talk about removing. You're removing it not because of the tonsil stones, but you're, you're removing it because of the pain resulting from the tonsil stones, the tonsillitis from the tonsil. To learn more, please click on one of the links on the screen or the description below.